it's actually to Larry. Larry, please address the point of WC well control training and the focus of automation while drilling and lack of downhole understanding while drilling so fast, et cetera. Well, that's, that's a good question, Steve. And, and as we well know, that's one that, that our industry struggles with every day. You know, our, uh, our drilling crews, especially our drillers, and, and therefore our, our, our senior pushers on these rigs, and Micah can speak to this later, but it's something that I recognize, whether it's uh, land drilling, uh, shelf drilling, or deep water environment. These guys are a lot smarter than what they used to be. They, they understand the workings of the technology. Um, I think that, that basically it, it, it probably takes some older guys like me to, to help them understand the downhole aspect. And when you combine that downhole aspect in with, with, the, uh, with the technology and, and to understand how that technology relates to the downhole aspect, then you have something. But to Steve's point, I think from a, from a, from my, my view uh, is that, you know, it, it's something that you and I talked about the other day, Will. What I would encourage uh, anyone that's getting into our industry, whether or not you're going to be a, 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 in a sales role, uh, in a management role, in an operations uh, management role, that field experience is the best thing that you can do for yourself, and for your company and for your peers. If I, I just firmly believe that it's a it's it's sort of a myth that if you think that you can step out of a out of a university or step out of a non-field role into an operational role and fully understand what's going on, uh, you're fooling yourself. And I would encourage everyone to get that field experience uh, and 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 seek that development in the course of their career.